Welcome to linuxhelp.com. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to configure MySQL master to master replication in in CentOS 7. This is my master 1 machine and this is my master 2 machine. I have installed MariaDB package in this both master machine. First of all, check the status of MariaDB system CTL status. MariaDB press enter MariaDB service is running again check the status of MariaDB in master 2 also MariaDB here also running now next step add the MySQL service into your firewall I already added MySQL service into firewall you want to check means type firewall iPhone CMD iPhone iPhone list all press enter here the MySQL service is added by the same command execute on my master 2 firewall iPhone CMD iPhone iPhone list all here also MySQL service is added now next step open the configuration file of my.cnf matc my.cnf you can open through your favorite editor and add the following statement here type server iphone id give server id i am going to give 10 you can give you can give any other number and also mention mysql log bin log iphone bin mysql iphone bin that's it now save and quit this configuration file now restart the MariaDB service system ctl restart maria db press enter open the mysql shell I am going to create user for replication and also set the grant replication for that user. First create the user. Create user reply at any host identified by enter the password 12345 press enter uh, user is created next I am going to set grant replication permission to that user for that you should type grant replication slave on to enter the user here press enter now now the grant replication is assigned now flush the privileges press enter now flush the tables with read log enter flush tables with read log press enter now check the status of master for that you should type show master status press enter this is the, your master log file and the master log position now quit this mysql shell terminal next i am going to take the dump of mysql db type mysql dump mysql enter the dump name sql iphone db dot sql press enter now the dump is created i am going to transfer the dump file into my second master using rsync iphone dav set excel you can also use scp also 
Okay, SQL dump. Out one ninety two dot one sixty eight. This is my master two IP. I'm going to transfer at root location. Press enter. Enter the password. Now the dump file is transferred into master two machine. Next, go to master two machine. Now list the directory. Here the dump file is presented. Now next step, open the my.cnf file. M E T C my.cnf. Add the following line here. Type server iPhone ID. Here I am going to give server ID as 20. Now save and quit this configuration file. Uh, restart the service. Restart MariaDB. Press enter. Now the MariaDB service is restarted. Now next I am going to inject the dump file into my master machine database. MySQL. MySQL. Enter the dump file. Press enter. Now it will be injected into your master2 machine DB. Next step, open the MySQL shell. Now type stop slave. I am going to stop the slave. Stop slave. Press enter. And slave is stopped. Next I am going to configure the master here to communicate replication process for that you should execute the following command this is the command to mention master host to communicate here I mentioned my master one IP and username password for that username this is log file this log file is nothing but this log file we previously checked and also log position I mentioned here enter this value correctly otherwise it will be shows some errors during replication press enter now next step start the slave type start slave press enter next I am going to check the process list for that you should type show process list here you can see slave is ready to connect next I am going to check the slave status for that you should type show slave status slash g press enter here you can see some fatal error username attempting unable to connect master the error will be shown don't worry open that configuration here I mentioned master host and master host command that's why it causes some error I am going to cure this error for that first you should stop the slave stop slave again open that command here change the name master user now press enter now start the slave now check the status of slave press enter now it will be connected without any error you can see the your master 1 IP and master 1 user port number log file and log position here master1 is configured perfectly to replication next I am going to configure master2 in master1 machine for replication process for that first you should open the configuration file of my.cnf type vim etc 
my dot cnf here now enter the following statement add mysql log bin type mysql log bin here log iphone bin mysql iphone bin now save and quit this configuration now restart the mariadb service system ctl restart mariadb dot services next go to the master one now next i am going to check the connection established by using netstat press enter here this is my master and this is my master 2 machine ip this is connection is established now now you can configure the further steps open the mysql shell now type now unlock the tables unlock tables press enter now you can check the process list type show process list press enter here you can see the process list that that uh, master two host is ready to connect here next i am going to configure the replication configuration in master one i am going to assign who is the master here for that you should execute the below command here i mentioned master host and username password master log file and log position here go to master2 machine and execute the show master status you can see the log file and log position of your master that this this configuration only i mentioned here I come to end press enter now the now the configuration is assigned now next type start slave slave is started now, st now next i am going to check the slave status for that you should type show slave status one press enter now it will be connected without any error you can see your master host and username port number log file and log position now the mysql master to master replication is configured next i am going to test the replication process this is my master one machine here i am going to create one database type databases create database and enter the db name linux press enter now use the database i'm going to create one table here create table enter the table name this distributions distributions and uh, mention the field this true where care 50 not null press enter now now the table is created i am going to insert some value into the table insert into enter the table name values values enter the value red hat press enter now the values inserted values from the database select store from under the table name here 
the table is created and my entered value red data is presented here now go to master 2 over here list the database show schemas press enter here the linux database is presented here use the database use now list the table here the distribution table is presented here now list the all values from the tables select star from distribution here the values from master one is created here now i am going to create another value in this master two machine insert into enter the table name now enter the value ubuntu here enter value here press enter now now the ubuntu value is insert into that distribution database again run the command now you can see the your entered value is presented here now your replication is working fine again go to master one now again list the table you can see the ubuntu value also presented here now your master to master replication is working fine this is the method to configure mysql or mariadb master to master replication in centos 7 thank you for watching